Alright guys, today we're going to be doing an oil change on the 2022 Volvo VNL. I believe this is the 760. You want to get over here a little closer? These are the two oil filters we're going to do. This is the fuel filter, and then this is the water separator. Right These are the tools you're going to need. Filter wrench, one one fourth socket, and the water separator tool. This truck has 250,000 miles, and we're going to be doing synthetic blend oil on it, 1540. Let's get to work. So usually this is a one one fourth. On this truck particular, we have a drain. So all I do is close it, open it, good to go. I loosen up the filters, have them drain. And yes, after I will clean all this up, so you do not worry about that. A lot of you guys know that the older fil the older Volvos, 2021 and under actually have three oil filters. This truck does take a little bit more oil, nine to nine and a half gallons, but this one has two filters. So they changed up just a little bit. Let's go on the other side and change the fuel filter. All right guys, so we're gonna grease the truck now. This is the leaf spring, there's one point here, two back there. Really important, you put extra grease on here. They do have bushings right over here, you wanna inspect the bushings, make sure everything's good to go. Put a little extra on the kingpins. This is the S-cam, slack adjuster, you don't need too much grease. I do use high heat lithium grease, just to make sure the grease lasts a little bit longer on these trucks. You definitely want to wait for the grease to pop out. So you guys probably don't see, but it came out back here. So I don't want to give any more. Until the old grease comes out and the new one is right there. See the red coming out. So you definitely want to inspect the brake shoes for any cracks, the drums. Make sure the brake chambers don't have any leaks. Make sure they're not loose. Make sure the shocks are not loose. Inspect the leaf springs, the U-bolts. This truck is fairly new. Doesn't have any major issues. Want to inspect all the tie rods. You want to inspect, make sure there's no water or dirt down there. For these Volvo trucks, you do want to make sure there's 25 microns. That is very important. A lot of people don't think that matters, but it does. You don't want to be changing these filters out on the road. want just enough fuel in the system.
if you do start the truck without adding the fuel, there will be air into air will go into the system and the truck will have a hard time running. What I'm using is brake cleaner right here. Make sure everything is nice and clean, nice and dry. You don't want any oil dripping onto the road. You definitely want to check the hubs, make sure there's oil in there. That's what makes the wheel spin. The steer tires, we want to make sure they're 110 PSI. Usually if my guys are hauling reefers, we do 110 in the rear. If they're doing anything other than that, we are doing 105 in the rear. I want to inspect the shocks, make sure there's no leaks in the shocks. The Volvos do have wear plates over here, you definitely want to keep inspecting that. You want to inspect the lower loose spring for no cracks. While I'm underneath, I do check the U-joints and the drive line. Checking the transmission level, differential level. You open up the cap and you want to make sure the oil is... You want to make sure you can reach the oil with your finger. You do a full inspection, make sure the airbags don't have any leaks or any other air leaks.